Hello everybody, I'm Paruiz and this is our 32nd video in PyQt5 GUI programming. Uh, in this video we are going to uh, convert our PyQt5 application to executable file. Uh, for converting, uh, you have uh, different uh, ways and uh, different packages. For example, uh, we have uh, Py2exe uh, package, we have uh, CX freeze. Uh, also, we have Py installer. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how you can convert your uh, Py Qt5 application with uh, Py uh, installer. Uh, the first thing you need, you should install Py installer. For installing Py installer uh, in your SteamD, uh, you can simply write uh, pip install Py installer. Uh, after that, you hit enter, it will be installed. Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm going to use my previous example, my uh, phone dialog example. Uh, I have this example. Uh, for example, I have uh, open phone dialog. I can make my uh, file phone bigger and also I can change my <coughs> uh, color of text like this. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to, uh, in here, I'm going to find this uh, phone dialog file in here uh, and uh, show an explorer. Okay, yeah, this is my phone dialog. After that, I'm going to copy this like this and I want to paste this uh, where I have uh, installed my Python, where my Python is installed. In here, Python 3.6. After that, I'm going to uh, in scripts, and here I'm going to paste this. Okay, phone dialog we have in here. Okay, and now uh, in Py installer we have two different ways uh, for converting our uh, uh, Py Python or PyQt5 file in uh, executable file. Uh, I'm going to show you the. Uh, uh, the, in the first, I'm going to show you the first one. Uh, and here you can simply uh, open your CMD terminal uh, like this, and uh, you can simply uh, write py installer, py installer, and you can give your name. My file name is font uh, dialog dialog.py okay and after that hit enter now it is it will convert uh, my you can see that now we have in here build and dist um, we should wait that it should be successfully converted yeah uh, now it's converting our python file to executable yeah now you can see that completed successfully if I open this uh, phone dialog, you can see that now it's converted. But uh, if I open this yeah, phone dialog.exe, yeah, now it's converted, and you can do uh, everything you want. Bold, and also you can change uh, the color like this. Okay, but we have problem in here. Uh, you can see that we have a bunch of files in here, uh, a bunch of uh, DLLs and also uh, other uh, Python packages in here. Uh, if you want to uh, convert your uh, convert uh, your all files in one just one .exe, you can do this with Py installer. Uh, let me remove this. Uh, I show the best way. Okay, for this uh, I'm again open my terminal I am writing py installer and after that I am going to write my python file that is font dialog after that uh, I am uh, dash f with uppercase f okay after that press enter oh sorry I have uh, made problem I think Mm, py installer, py installer. After that, uh, font 
dialog.py. I have forgot .py in the previous example. After that, dash f. <coughs> Hit enter. Now wait. Uh, it will be completed. It's uh, converting. Yeah, completed successfully. Well, now if I open this dist full file, you can see that now I have just one file, and all is uh, in this in this full dialog.exe. Let me open this. Yeah, now you can write something. You can make it bigger, and also you can change the color like this. Uh, <coughs> now you can see that we don't have any icon in here, but in the uh, in the original example, if we see in here, uh, if I run this, you can see that now in here we have an icon. How you can add icon to your application? And for this, uh, from your uh, um, Python file. I have an icon.png. Copy this and paste it in here. Like this. After that, open your phone dialog again. Now you can see that we have icon in here. Well, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And further, further, further videos, please subscribe the channel.